Now it's been Halsall and a couple of days ago I had a question about how to add one of these play bars to so the red line that you can see expanding along the bottom of one of our videos. Now this is super simple to do and we're going to run through those steps quickly here. So I'm going to remove um, this layer here so we can start from scratch. So essentially we have a short five second video and this will work for any duration of video. So whether it's five seconds, 50 seconds or a much longer um, video. And the first thing we need to do is come up to our generators on the top left in Final Cut Pro 10. So what we're looking for is our basic colored um, shapes. So we're gonna scroll down to solids and we're selecting a custom solid here. And what we're working with here really is the, the cropping for this particular layer. So at the moment we just have a full black box by dragging this down onto our timeline. We'll grab the blade tool and we'll slice this at the end and then just delete any extra part of this generator and the slug that's created by blading this at the end. And then we'll come back to our video and we'll click on this custom color generator here and come up to the generators option in the inspector on the top right. Now, if you don't see the inspector up at the top right, just come to window, show in workspace and show the inspector. And then once you've done that, I'm gonna change this color here by clicking on it and we'll just make it nice and red, nice and bright red, or you can select from the drop down menu depending on how you want to do that. So once we've got that uh, red box there, we need to crop it from the top in the first instance, just so we get the play bar down at the bottom. So we'll come to our video options, scroll down until we see the crop options here, and then we'll crop from the top until we get a play bar that matches the height that we want it. So that's the first step. The next step is to come right to the beginning of our video, and then we're gonna add a keyframe, first of all, for a crop from the right. So we've got our right hand play bar here, and we're gonna add a keyframe at the beginning, and then we're gonna crop that all the way from the right. And now we're gonna to come to the very last frame of our video. So I'm gonna bring my playhead to the last frame and go back one frame. So we're on the actual very last frame. And then we'll bring that cropping all the way back to the beginning. And that's everything you need to do. So we've cropped it from the top. We've set two keyframes at the beginning and end of our clip. And now you can see we have a play bar playing which shows us how much longer we have left of that video to play. So I've seen this a couple of times on different videos on Instagram, and it's a real simple technique to do. Now one last thing you might wanna do here is to add a gray bar underneath your red bar that's moving across as your video is playing back. And this is real simple to do. If we select the red play bar here, we can hold down the Alt key and just drag up and you can see I get a little plus symbol that's indicating that this is gonna duplicate um, a layer. So essentially we've made a copy of the, the play bar that's playing back. And if we come to the play bar that's at the bottom, um, we'll come across to our video options here. And essentially all we're gonna do is reset the cropping um, that's happening on the right. So if we reset that cropping on the right and then come to the options for that particular layer in our video, we can set the color here to a gray so we can match our RGB sliders to the same color. And now we'll get this gray box underneath our red play bar. So we can, so if you want to change it to a different gray, um, you can just slide these RGB sliders or close this. And if we click the drop down menu here, we can select from the bar at the bottom here to select the gray color that we want. So now you can see as I play this back, I have my video playing back, but then I have a gray bar underneath that red bar just by duplicating these two layers. So I hope that's been helpful if you're looking to do this and please do ask any questions below in the comments and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.